Today, I'm going to be showcasing every single Queen K in the game, starting with Sikatana. So, Sikatana's click is probably one of the worst in the game. It's slow and slows you down movement wise. Then the E works exactly the same, except it has some bleed. So, it's, it does a little bit more damage, although not very efficient. Next is the R, which is a small lunge forward, less than a dash even. Although, at the start of the game, not being able to dash very far at all, it is very useful. And the F is basically the same as a dash, just a little bit slower. So, another good movement tool for the very start of the game. Next is Clipped Wing, the starter that you should never buy unless just as a joke. Because it is not even an argument to say this is the worst weapon in the game. Like, it's just bad compared to, C compared to C Katana because it's supposed to have range. However, it has very little and attacks decently slowly. For trying to cheese NPCs, this may be better, may be better than Sikatana, although Sikatana just has better DPS in general. This has similar moves to Sikatana, however, they're pretty garbage. Now, the only actually good starter would be Eye Patch, which before the rework was also really bad, but now it is not. This click does a good amount of damage, pretty average, although clicks aren't really what make a weapon good. So this has, or the E, R, and F are all camera based. The E has a small, a cylinder looking thing. I don't know what you want to call this, but it's a, it's a decent amount of range that you can use from a distance and still hit the target. And then next is the R, which you will lunge forward and hit your target, knocking them back. And last is the F move, which will lunge you forward and... Uh, well, it, it, it doesn't do anything if you don't hit a target, but if you do hit a target, it will pull you both into the middle of between you, or so, something like that. And then this, combined with R, makes for one of the first combos in the game, just like this. Now we have Demon Yamada, my personal favorite of the starter-ish weapons. However, not the best for early game grinding, although it's probably the easiest to get because it's really cheap and easy to use. So, first this click is really nice. The E is a blink that bleeds, and the R is not a blink, although it does knockback. Two slidable movement moves that work really well for early game movement. Much better than Sikatana does. And then obviously it has the F, which makes it my favorite, because the F move is quick, long range, and cancels moves. So it's really, really useful. In my opinion, this is basically like SSS Owl Melee, but extremely cheap. Although, with differences, of course. Next is Rotten Follow, which is basically useless, although it's pretty interesting because it's the only weapon in the game to have a click that you hold. It's quite a cool idea, although it's not really more useful than anything. Rotten Follow is, I think, if not a little bit more than four times more expensive than Demon Yamada, and it is a lot worse. So the E-move, a little bubble of sorts. I'm not exactly sure how this works, but it kind of just hits a bunch in this bubble-looking thing. Then the R, which is just a dash forward. Decently quick and long range, although not very useful, like, in comparison to the other ones, just because of the other moves. Then the F is pretty much the same as Giyama's. It just kind of grabs onto them. And next is the best early game grinding weapon. This is Scorpion 156. It costs 56 million. Makes sense. So, the click is the fastest click in the game. I have 50 Quinn K currently, and I am shredding this first class investigator. Even the click alone is extremely effective for grinding early game. The next is the E, which is a movement move, which can be slided and has a, an extremely short cooldown, making it super, super good for early game grinding and getting around the map. Then the R, which will throw four knives, each putting a little marker above whatever is hit its head. And once there, once there's three and they're hit again by a knife, it will basically explode and do even more damage. This combined with F, which will knock them back slightly, stunning them for a short amount of time. 
makes for a good combo to absolutely annihilate things early game. And this is even fun in PvP. It may not be the best, obviously, but is, it has extremely high damage if you can actually aim it. Our next weapon is Kuda, the weapon that Amon uses. This actually is the first weapon to have two modes, and it's pretty fun to use. The first form is pretty average. I should probably have less Quinn K so I can actually demonstrate things. It is probably one of the worst clicks in the game, although, like I've said before, that's pretty irrelevant. Then the E, which is kind of just a, it, like a high cooldown click. I don't know why this exists. Then the R, which is a movement move, which will stun for a short period of time. Then the F, which is another stun. When Amon actually uses this, this is really annoying, but that's only because the other bosses literally do not have a stun. Then we have the second mode, obviously. This is actually really useful, and it looks super satisfying to click with. This actually has a good click, makes for good DPS, although I have, like, very low Quinte right now. But even then, it's still doing a good amount of damage. Next, we have the E, which is a movement move, an instant dash forward, which, if you dash in the air with, it's not really a slide, but it's more efficient than trying to slide from the ground with. Then the R, which is a high range, 360 degree attack, which does a good amount of damage and hits multiple times. Then the F, which is similar to Demon Yamada's F, does the little X slash thing. Next, we'll use T-Human. T-Human is honestly just really well designed, and this is one I actually want to show off the block on because it looks really, really cool. Just a beautiful model. Click is kind of what you'd expect. Just your average click. The E shoots a little ball. If I could actually get away from Nishiki, I might be able to show some more. The E is a little ball and puts this above their head. I'm actually not sure what that does, so if anyone knows in the comments, let me know. Then the R, which is a short iframe roll. Not very good movement, although it's a little bit of iframe, so it's pretty useful. So the E is just good range DPS. Then the F is the laser, and to charge it up, you'll use C, which you can use up to four times to fully charge the laser. And then, there you go. Now, if I have stats like this, and I charge this all the way up, this will do a stupid amount of damage. Even though this isn't even regular damage at max level, it's still going to do a ton with the laser. So this can, this can be really efficient for grinding bosses, but it's not the most efficient, because, like I said earlier, Scorpion is the most efficient and the highest DPS of the starter-ish weapons. So I realized I forgot to grind RC for Dojima, so that's what I've been doing for the past like 20 minutes. And I also realized I was wrong about R. I don't think it actually has iframes, although it does actually hit. So, good to know. Alright, now that I'm done grinding, I can actually showcase Dojima. So the first form is pretty average. I should really change my stats again. The click is your average click. The E is a knockback with a slight amount of movement. The R is kind of just another knockback, but it sends them up. And F is a lunge forward and a smash. It's like Yamo's click, but also PK's R. Mm, yes. This is extremely slow, so not very useful. Although the second form, Doshima 2 can actually be extremely useful, especially when using an Arata. So the click is average. The E is spin, which can actually, I think this might, no, you can't really slide it very well, but instantly spins you forward with a decent amount of movement and a pretty short cooldown. The R is a lunge forward with decent distance, not very good still. And the F is three lunges forward and combine this all together, and you have really, really good movement. Especially for a Quinque. And next, we have 13's Jason, which I have a personal grudge against. So, the click is really slow, however, has a lot of bleed damage, making it quite useful for combos. And the E will spin the scythe around with a large radius, dealing a ton of damage, hitting many times. This may be good dps although 
it, it is easily counterable because there it's a few seconds of you trying to do damage where you can't really move. Then next is the R, which is if I wouldn't be lagging constantly, is a pretty long range stun with an extremely short cooldown. Also looks really, really nice. This is one of my favorite looking weapons, although I really don't like it. And then the C, which you can slide as well, is a good movement tool. Has slight end lag, but then can go into an R combo. And you can repeat this as long as they are slow, or as long as the target is slow. So you could do this on anyone who either has high ping or just really isn't that fast in PvP. Oh yeah, and the F, my bad. I used it and then thought, oh yeah, I showcased it. The F, you have to press it twice or wait a certain amount of time and it will automatically do it. And during that time, you have iframes and cannot be hit. And then after it'll do a decent amount of damage, although I think it's only useful for the iframes. Next is Higher Mind, which is similar to T-Human, although I think slightly more viable for just doing general things. Click is pretty average. It's a little bit slow, but... It does more damage to make up for that. The E will knock you back, as well as knocking the target back. Let me uh, actually demonstrate this. Just like this, it will knock me and the target back. The R works similarly, except it will knock the enemy back a lot more while lunging me forward. And then the F will shoot a laser, similar to T-Human's laser, although not as much damage and it is unchargeable. Although I think this is much better than T-Human because of the movement as well as comboing with this. And next is Ixa. Ixa is a quite the interesting weapon, and I really like the way it works, although it can be quite annoying to fight because of its difference from other weapons. So the click will actually click, click and damage. Actually, that only hits once. It'll do an animation like it hits twice, although I believe it does only hit once, and I've only just now realized that. The E will shoot you forward and do a blink move. And whenever this hits a target, it will blind them for a short amount of time. It's only like a small bit of a second, so it's not really that detrimental. Then the R, which will move you in a zigzag pattern, which you can control using W, S, and D. So I can go this way and then this way. And for the duration of the move, the majority of it, you will have iframes and cannot be hit. Then last is the F which will stun the target. And then, of course, there is the C mode. Actually, first, let me demonstrate the block. The block looks like this and can either be really annoying or extremely useful. So basically, how the block works is the closer something is to you, the more damage it will do. So it'll have a, a just a regular amount of protection from a normal block. But the further away something is, the less damage it will do. So say, for example, they were across by the railroad and using a ranged weapon. They would do nothing to me. Even like, even like glassy, it'll, it's gonna do nothing because it just goes to the percentage where it is 100% blocked. Now, it's a gimmick mode. The click is mouse aimed and works just like this. And you can also dash with it and move while, or like, you can't really dash after doing the move for a short amount of time. So if you dash with the move, you're gonna be able to get away while also hitting a, hitting a click. So if someone, or something melee is trying to hit you, you can dash away, hit them with the click. The click also has iframes, so it's pretty useful. Then is the E, which shoots out a bunch of these, I'm just gonna call them like pillars or whatever, these, these spikes. Then next is the R, which will do this and automatically aim to whatever target is closest by. So I could do this here. It's going to go up there and it's going to auto aim to there. So you don't have to do anything with that. Then last is the F, which is literally like a sideways R, but you have to aim it. Now, uh, Ixa usually is mouse aimed. You don't really use shift lock a lot, I don't think. Although I, I don't main Ixa, so if I get things wrong, then let me know in the comments. And next is Kajiri. Kajiri is a pretty annoying ranged weapon. The click shoots out three electric shards with pretty small range, although it can still be pretty useful if you're somewhat close. Then the E will shoot out 
three fully electric shards, or what, whatever you want to call this stuff, and each of those, if you're hit by it, it will knock you back, and it also knocks you backward while using it, just like this. Then R sets a little mine thing, and if you use either E or click, it will set these off, and for a short amount of time, they will stay there electrified, and if you touch it, you can only touch it once, but you'll take a lot of damage while inside of it. And then last is the F, which you can hold infinitely and shoot a ton of shards really far. People might think this is OP or really annoying, although it's not that OP when you think that they can't do anything but change the direction while using it. That is all they can do. And next is Reaper, a weapon that I really like, but also really don't like. Click is pretty normal. And the E is a little uh, 360 hitbox doing a good amount of damage, but you can also slide it really well. So it's really, really satisfying, and it can be really efficient for movement. Next is the R, which will go into a spear mode and knock back the target. This can also... You can also slide this, kind of. It, um, actually, no, this does actually work well for sliding, rather than other moves that work like this. So sliding this, you can be really, really quick. It can be really annoying to fight you. Then last is the F, similar to Demon Yamada, however, sideways, and... It's just... Demon Yamada's F, but obese and fell over. And then last is the C, which will shoot the scythe out with a little cylinder thing and pull in the target. If Nishiki wasn't really annoying, I could demonstrate this better. This has really good DPS for the combo, and it's just altogether a really good weapon, but it can pretty easily be countered by a lot of things if you're not careful. Next, we have Narukami. The click is really fast. It is one of the fastest clicks in the game, although Scorpion is a little bit faster. Then the E is four blinks forward, and you can, you know, obviously go backward in any direction with it. And using this, you can hit a lot. And the R is a stun that can hit twice if used correctly. It'll hit once, like this, and then if you're in the bubble, it will actually stun them. Then, if you see these little orbs down here, these are called stacks or ammo or whatever. And let me actually get rid of these real quick. So the F is the combo starter, which is a pretty small radius. However, if you get stacks by either using R or E, then this becomes much bigger and much easier to hit, making it a lot more powerful. And now, we have the range mode, the click, little orb, the E works like this, and the R works like this. However, without stacks, it's much smaller and less powerful. Smaller, just like that. And then last is the F move which will summon three auto-aiming clouds of lightning, which will just raid hell on everything. It can be really fun to use, although you don't have the cooldown going down during this, so you literally have to wait till they're gone, and then wait the cooldown to be able to use the combo starter F again. And now we are on our last three weapons, which is Kaika, Ginkui, and then Owl. My three favorite Quinkes. So, Kaika 1 is, it looks like a pumpkin. The click works like this. Well, I, I really don't know what you'd call this. And the block also looks really nice. It looks really nice with my colors as well. Then the E is basically the click, but just a lot longer. I have generally no idea what to call this. Then the R throws, out, throws down a mine, and whatever steps on it will activate it, and they'll explode. Then the F, I'm gonna actually probably gonna kill them. Yeah. So if if you use F, it will drag them from where they are and pull them straight to you. Next is Kaika 2, which is much more complex. The click has, I believe, five different sizes. So if you spam click, it's gonna be pretty small. Although the smallest size you can only do if you spam click the second you open Kaika 2. <laughs> it's just adorable. And it'll get bigger the longer you charge it here. Well, by charge it, you kind of just wait. 
And at its max size, it has a huge range and a, a massive hitbox. You can also zoom out a lot more with Kaika due to it needing to see a lot more. Then the E will instantly fill this bar here. So you could click, use E, and then click immediately again for a ton of damage. Then the R throws down two mines, which if you jump, you can get a lot more range. And basically how Kaika plays is you'll make a minefield where if things want to come get you, if they're usually if they're melee, they'll have to go through it or try and get you out of it. If, if it's range, that's another story. Depends on how much DPS you can do to them before they can out DPS you to where you'd need to rush to win. Then next is F, the bubble, and C controls it wherever your mouse is facing. And this is why Kaika plays without shift lock so you can aim the bubble. I can't actually demonstrate the bubble because it only works on players, but it will grab players and you can pull them around for a few seconds. And during that time, you can bring them to your minefield as well as hit them with clicks and do tons of damage. And next is Genkui, which is probably my favorite, if not a tie with Owl, because they're both really, really fun to use. Genkui's click is also really, really fast, just like Narakami's. The E works like Taki K2's E, and you can slide it, obviously. And if you hit it, it will stun your uh, your target for a short period of time, but also with some end lag, so it can be countered if you're trying to do that into a combo. Next is R, which will grab the target inside the bubble, which is uncancelable and can get as many people as you want. I can choose... Choose. I... I have, like, severe brain damage. Use F, it will then explode. And then, that's the combo. R, F, I hate my life. The combo is R, F, wait for it to explode. G, up, I'm, I messed it up! This video is giving me brain damage. R, F, wait for it to explode. G, C, R again, then use E to escape. That is Ginkui's combo. Don't use E to combo because it's easily counterable unless you're just messing around. And also to explain how the C works, the C shoots mouth looking thing and you have to press C twice to aim it. You can't turn it to the side, however, you can choose any distance up to the maximum distance, which is really, really far. So unless you're across the map, there's no real need to worry about that. It goes about that far. And you can choose to send it down wherever you want. And to aim it, you can just look at the circle on the ground. It's pretty obvious. And our last Quinque is Owl, of course. Owl is a super cool weapon and a great generalist for just about everything. The click is extremely, extremely fast, just like Inkwe and Arakami, although not as fast as Scorpion, of course. And the E is a blink that you can slide, which does a good amount of damage and is really good for movement. This combined with Udie makes for a good duo of movement. Then R is also a movement tool, although not as far. It is still very, very useful. And this actually has another purpose, which I can demonstrate. So here we have Amon. So if I were to use R, during the small amount of time you're slashing the target, you have iframes. And you can also use the melee F, which is a ranged move. Makes sense. But that is the basic combo for Owl. And then next is the range mode, which is the highest DPS in the entire game. The click is long range shards. Well, more medium range, but very long range for a click, similar to Kajiri. And then the E shoots out four bigger shards, which do a little explosion on impact. Then R, which is a really big shard that has a massive radius around it. So I can even do this here and it'll still hit him. Then F, which is the highest DPS move in the game, will shoot out a ton of shards, which can be aimed just like this. It's an interesting way to aim it, but it's really, really fun once you get used to it. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see similar videos like this where I can showcase other things, let me know in the comments. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.